My intuition is telling me there'll be better days. What's up, bad bitches of the world? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, then welcome. I was going to say joining us. Welcome. My name is Natalie, and this is my channel, Music to Makeup. I was going through like some celebrity looks a little bit ago and one of the looks that really caught my eye was this one by Rihanna. Oh my god. It is all bright pink. If you couldn't tell, obviously. And pink is my vibe. Like, it's my favorite color. I love Rihanna. I mean, pink Rihanna, like, what more could you possibly ask for? So, I wanted to recreate that look today. And I am so in love with this look. Like, this is probably, like, one of, like, my top favorite looks that I've done. I am just so obsessed with it. I feel like a Barbie. And this is a look that is probably intimidating for a lot of people, but it will go with like every single eye color, every single skin tone. Like it is gonna work for everyone. And the color I used on my lids is does have a little shimmer in it, but I was gonna use a matte shade. So if you have hooded eyes, you can just use a matte shade instead of a shimmer one. But everything all pink, yes please. I don't know why. I mean, I've done something kind of similar to this before, but just this lid color with this lip, mmm, mmm. So, if you would like to see how to get this pink Rihanna inspired eye tutorial, then keep on watching. And if you do like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up, by subscribing, and by hitting that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And if you ever have any requests, just put them down below in the messages. I love to hear from you guys, honestly. Like, someone leave a comment, please. Like, <laughs> get into it. All right, so I'm taking ColourPop Softcore with a Morphe E27 blending brush. And I'm going to be using that as my transition color. And just putting that in my crease from inner corner to outer corner. You know how we do. And this is just like a really pretty pink color. So this is a, a brush I got from my Ipsy bag. It's like a SL Miss Glam. And I'm going in with the ColourPop eyeshadow in Sandbar. Oh my gosh. This is one of my absolute favorite ColourPop eyeshadows. It is just a bright neon pink. And this look is so easy. It's basically just a couple different <laughs> shades of pink. And I'm really liking that brush. It's like an exact dupe for a Sigma E25. So now I just go back in with my E27 and blend out the edges. And then I'm gonna go back in with Sandbar and just intensify that color in the outer corner. And then blend it out one more time. Now I'm going to be taking this Marc Jacobs uh, Matte Gel Eyeliner in Popular and putting that all over my lid. You can use a liquid lipstick if it's eye safe. You can use a lip liner. You can use a glitter glue or you don't have to use anything. But I just wanted a base. And now I'm going to be going in with the ColourPop eyeshadow in Solstice with the Mostest. So now I'm going to be taking the same uh, eyeliner, the Marc Jacobs eyeliner, and putting that in my lower waterline. Now she's not wearing any shadow on her lower lash line in the picture, but I was just, I had pink fever, okay? So I'm going in with a color pop shadow called Poodle. It's a very pretty like light pink and I'm just putting that in my lower lash line. And then I'm going in with Sandbar, which was that neon pink. So two little girls just knocked on my door and they were like, do you want to buy slime? 
Like, no, sorry. And then I just felt bad. But like, what am I gonna do with slime, really? Maybe if it was candy. <laughs> That's a whole nother story. Okay, so this step is completely optional. I would just skip it. It just felt so weird to not put any eyeliner on. So I went in with the pink eyeliner, but you couldn't even tell a difference. So I didn't want to go in with the black eyeliner because that would, was not the look at all. But so now I'm just going to curl my lashes. So she's wearing pink mascara in that look, but I don't have pink mascara, so I'm just going to go in with my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir. Luxie 239. I just realized that I put lashes on and I didn't do the rest of my makeup but I wanted to show you guys the I guess completed eye look she is not wearing lashes in the picture because she's wearing the pink mascara and so I didn't want to do like a very dramatic lash so this is the most natural lash I have and it is out of my Sephora mood false lash kit and it is hipster it was right here but they are number 20 hipster so this is the finished eye look so I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup and I will show you the completed look okay so I'm gonna do some blush and highlighter and a lip I thought I would have you guys join me doing that since that is part of the look I think I'm gonna use this pretty vulgar blush in Prim Vixen. So I'm gonna take an Eco Tools blush brush and go in with that. Her look is like all pink, like eyes, blush, and lips. I'm going to use my Becca Chloe Malika Bronze Blush and Glow Palette and I'm going to use the highlighter in Glow Up. Real Techniques brush. Also, I'm gonna go in, I want it a little bit like whiter. So I'm gonna go in with my Milani Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette and go in with this one right here, the same color I used to highlight my brow bone. Now I'm gonna do a lip. gloss over it let's do it so you can leave it like this or I'm gonna see what this Anastasia gloss looks like on top of it in pink tourmaline yeah I like it a little bit I want some more of it all right guys so here is the finished look Well, I hope you enjoyed this celebrity inspired recreation with hot pink Rihanna look and I will see you guys in my next video and don't forget to enter my giveaway because it is still going on. All right. I love you guys. Bye.